period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Right in front of the net. Chelios is taken down. A penalty is coming up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Salani's called for tripping. He's off to the box. As soon as the hands go up when they start to bleed with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power play. They move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Pass. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. The Blackhawks take it across the line. Here's a chance right in front, and they can't connect. The Ducks gain possession of the defensive zone. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends it over. Shoots it on the oh, backhand. Oh, Larmer the had him beat. The puck back and forth. Grabbed along the board by Perry. Oh, what a ice the game. Right up the gut. Here they go. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves the puck over to Ronick. Takes the feed. Goulet is a key part of the power play. He's already got one power play goal. You're looking for another. Lots of time left in this period. Chicago's got a 2-0 lead. <coughs> That's a hold of the puck. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Tempers flaring, and someone's off to the box for slashing. And so often you just reach out and react. A little bit of frustration. It's a pretty obvious call, though. Chicago's ready to go to work with a two-man advantage. I always want to see the five on three a little more aggressive, James, than it usually is. I think the puck has to be moved quickly for an early shot. Where are the penalty killers down? Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Makita. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. The Blackhawks get scores! And look at the smile on his face with his first. Uh, not just him, but his teammates. Everybody loves to see somebody get their first goal. Everybody seems pretty excited for him. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Chicago's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. And he denied that opportunity. The setters will glide into the dot. Ronix won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Larmer. And that one's broken up. Anaheim's across the blue line. Sends it in on the attack. Chicago's looking to break out. Looking to break out here on the power play. Quick feed to Ronick. Nice zone entry from the middle. He's got some room carrying the puck in the offensive zone. He'd love to get his first goal. Directed over to McDonald. Moves it to Solani. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Knocked away. Slides it over with pace to Larmer. Blistering shot. He scores. And I believe that's his first career goal. You bet it is. And while he's not a player expected to score, it's still a pretty darn nice accomplishment for him to get. The goalie doesn't get a clean look at this with the oh. traffic in front of the net. He's trying to find the puck, and by the time he does, it's behind him. That was a nice shot. JR. Chicago's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side where this night has been a nightmare. The Ducks win possession here in the open ice. Puck exits the zone. 
can't connect. Chicago's got the puck. Quick pass to Larmer. Floats the saucer pass. Denies it in front. Sharp reaction save. Chicago's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Anaheim's got it along the wall. And he makes the save. Esposito's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Chicago's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. Anaheim's won the draw. Blocked in traffic. Kick save. Oh, he's dialed in tonight. Here's a short pass to Hull. The Ducks have it from their own end. Anaheim's on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Ryan. Stops him with a glove. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Esposito's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. The Islanders are on the schedule next for these guys. We had a coach game that would ask us in a random meeting, who are our next three opponents? You'd be amazed how many guys would get two of the three wrong. What about you? Always knew. You always do. Yeah. What, I, smartest guy in the room, right? No, just <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> period has expired. The Blackhawks lead it 4 nothing. They have dominated. <laughs> Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Takes the feed. Jabs the puck away. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Let's it fly. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Nothing doing on that. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Sends a pass over. On the doorstep, here's a chance on the backhand. He was locked in there. Denies him again. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Quick feed to Sutter. Centering pass. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Here he is in front. Can't connect. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. The Ducks have it in the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Moves it to Larmer. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. The Ducks are getting penalized for slashing. That's a bad reaction. He's beat. He's out of position. He just turns around and whacks. Just a good old-fashioned hack. These guys take too many slashes. Another power play opportunity coming up here. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be pleased with the results so far. And he takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Quick pass to Pilot. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Gets the puck over to Niedermeyer. And now he tries to get it across to Getzlaff. Big play inside the defensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Savard swooping in on the attack. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. The Ducks have possession shorthanded. Taken by Perry. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Makita. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. The Ducks are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. He's fishing around, trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Face off, and it's a five-on-three man advantage, but they don't have much time to work with it. 
Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Drives to the sweet spot. Denies him. won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. His reflexes on display tonight. Angles it over to McDonald. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And now he passes up to Ruchin. Here's a shot. That eyes him on the play. And that's all she wrote on that one. I thought the team played well. I thought the goalie was excellent earning his first shutout of the season. Doesn't matter when it happens. It counts, and this could be something to build on here going forward. Esposito getting that shutout. Chicago gets their first win of the season. 4 nothing over the Ducks. And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Thank you. Makita, two-way hockey. <clears throat> then Bobby, beneficiary of that hard work. He's not going to miss from there. Donnie, Esposito. Good game for the Blackhawks. Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. <clears throat> here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. From the slot, huge stick save by the goaltender. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Winnipeg's ahead, 1-0. Buffalo's won the faceoff. Here he is, shot right in front, and that banks off a stick. Lays into the body. Howard chucks Hall down, penalty on the way. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go, two minutes off to the box. Winnipeg sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. You can really gain some momentum on your first power play, even if you don't score. Get some chances, make it a positive event. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. He's never scored, but watching him wind through the offensive zone, he looks like he's got plenty of confidence. Win 
Winnipeg's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Fails to find the open man. The Sabres will play it in their own end. With authority. The oh. goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Winnipeg's not going to stretch out this lead. It'll stay pretty tight as this puck hits the post. The Sabres move to the offensive zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Tries to get it to Dome. And he regains control of the puck. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Peckis won the draw here in the open ice. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Through pass ahead. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Makes the save. Sotart's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Sabres get their man back out of the box. Well, it's still looking bleak enough here. They've got to climb back into the game, but if their PK doesn't do the job there, they wouldn't have had any chance. Denies that opportunity. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Stopped by the goaltender. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Play rolls on. From the right side, they gain the zone. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by LaFontaine. Passes the puck over to Hull. Here's a short pass to Solani. Great heads up play by the defender. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. The Sabres have it behind the cage. Excellent stick work on the play. And the puck's knocked loose. Picked up along the wall by Housley. From center, they get into the attacking area. Strong defensive effort. Puck picked up by Seacock. Moves it quickly over to Doan. Strong defensive effort. Quick feed to Housley. Intercepts it at center. Winnipeg's done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. Cuts into the paint. He oh, scores. what a goal. It's in, and I believe that's his first. Tempo. Congratulations, his first goal. I don't Beautiful. think anybody expects my nice job but it's still got to feel good. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The ice have to be seeing the finish line now after going up by two here late. What a complete change in the way this game can be viewed. Now they're in control. They've got only a few minutes left to melt off the clock. And they can play this any way they want. Played big in the moment there. And he came out and challenged a good save. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Pushes it across to Olchek. Winnipeg's got it across the line. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Here in the late goings of the period, Winnipeg's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Steen's one possession. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. The Sabres gain possession along the wall. Pokes the puck away. Winnipeg's gain possession. Turns it away. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. I said he needs some run support. Winnipeg's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Offense is own face off and he wins the draw. Way up front! Shot! Oh, what a stop! Hasek's done everything he can from the goalie position. His save percentage is great, but they're still trailing by multiple goals. No 
Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. The centermen glide into position. Seacombs won it. Scooped up along the wall by Newmanen. Last minute of play. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Sends it across. He scores! Well, they say good things come to those who wait. Oh, he's been waiting, that's for sure. He got through his rookie year with nothing, but now he's got one on the board. <laughs> His teammate could get rich with passes like this. What a move that opens up everybody. And then he lays off a simple one for him. The ice have been showing no mercy tonight. So many nights, it's tooth and nail to get a victory. Not tonight. This is comfortable for them. Under a minute to go in the third. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Picked up along the boards by Carlisle. Receives the pass. Stays with it. Buffalo's got the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Puts it to the front of the net. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Grabbed along the board by Campbell. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Smart defensive play there. On the attack along the boards. And that's broken up. Right to the middle. And that one's blocked. Comes up with the stop. There's the horn. And it's time to breathe. Doesn't matter when the shutout is, a goalie always feels great about himself if he can blank the other team. Played very well tonight. No That's a shutout. Of tire pumping from his teammates tonight. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night. <laughs> Rob well, Ray's like, what the fuck? <laughs> the game winner. Is that enough? It's some insurance. Boom. We got first star then. Oh yeah. Only 21 saves, but still. Shout out to shout out in the NHL. Good win for the Jets. Man, I love those Quebec jerseys. That blue is
chart's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Lots of time left in this period. 4-0 is where we sit. This has been a very, very one-sided contest. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Gives them nothing in front. It's a nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Tavares plays it against the boards. To the low slot! Buries it for the goal! I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no rules in three games in the middle of the year, nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Leafs have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Grabs the puck at center. Taken along the wall by Clark. And now it's grabbed by Stastny. Cuts to the paint. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Made the stop on the play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Leafs are in a desperate need of a goal as they still trail by three. Redirect in front. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. Puts it in deep. Picked up along the wall by Butcher. Snaps it on net. Oh, a clutch save. Scrum along the boards. They battle for the puck. From in close. Stones him in front. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. The Blues await on this road trip for the next game here, Ray. Yeah, you just plow through. You get on the road and you play a game. You get in the plane and you go to the next city. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, what a save in front. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Moves it to Hunt. And now it's over to Nolan. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Big time defensive play. Toronto's in now. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Quick pass to Goulet. Throws it in. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Gains the zone through the middle. He's working his way through the offensive zone, James. He doesn't have an NHL goal yet. From the back of the cage with the puck. Ooh, very good hit. Taking him from his own end. The Toronto is going to run out of time here. Up steam. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Loses his balance on the Ooh, play. And block. that one's broken up. Great block there. Takes a whack but still hangs on. Now a quick pass to Gardner. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Levels him with the hit. And a poke check knocks the That's puck away. Game, yeah. Scooped up along the wall by LaFay. Along the wing up the neutral zone. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. Handles the puck. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. In the final moments of this period, a lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4-1 the score. Up along the wing. Slides the puck over. Easy peasy right there by Anderson. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Broughton's won the draw here in the offensive zone. 
Toronto's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Across the line from center. Snaps it onto the net. Oh, he stops it with the glove. Great reflexes there. Toronto's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Here's a short pass to Domi. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Alvaline stick handling in his own zone. Through center along the wing. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. Smothered that in close chance. There's a battle of the Sundines. Tavares lining up against Fasten. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that'll do it from ringside here. When you look at the final stats here, James, and they had more shots on goal. They had a very comfortable lead. It seemed like they had the puck and the game in control most of the night. They looked like a firing squad out there, and the difference was they converted on many of those. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> Tim Hunter, two assists to Bouchard, solid outing, just missed a shutout. Not bad, Aaron Broughton. Doesn't even have a highlight. Good win for Quebec. his way to center and this third period is about to go well this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level Ray we've got 40 minutes played so far how have you viewed things Detroit's game plan really can't change or shouldn't change too much they've owned time of possession they've had the puck a lot they just haven't been able to catch the game Moves it quickly over to Datsuk. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puts it on net with the stop. Quick feed to Howe. Detroit's got it along the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Off the post! Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Looks pretty confident with the puck on his stick here in the offensive zone. He scores! And he's up and running this season! Look at the relief on his face already. He hasn't even played many games, but you want this as early as you can. Really good maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net. He gets the pass and he one-times that in from the low slot. Nice pass by Gallant, too. Pass Cheevers. The Red Wings still have a big hill to climb here, but they got one back, Ray. They're going to have to get their D up into the play, take a couple of chances. One is not going to do it. Detroit's won it. Scored by number four. Couldn't make that one happen. 
Picked up along the boards by Howe. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Boston's ready to go for the attack. No one home on that play. He's got a step. Oh, he misses. Oh, uh, maybe trying to be too fine there, James, and he ends up getting nothing for it. Rips it and rips it. That seals over the net. Uh, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Boston's got it in their own zone. The Bruins are in transition. Sends it out right in front. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Along the right side into the offensive zone. A shot gets in front of it. Cheevers has stopped the vast majority of shots here. Even with traffic, I've liked this game tonight. And loses possession after a solid hit. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. And he's going after him here. They're going to go. Yeah, but they look, James, of course someone's stepping in for him. They're not going to let him fight. Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bump. And here comes referee Gilles to clean things up. The Red Wings gain the upper hand in this fight, and now we'll see if they can produce some offense while the momentum has been gained. And Abel got ran over. A gallant came to his aid. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the faceoff. Detroit's got it, and they're on the attack. Big time stop. He says, let's get physical on that play. In all alone. Denies him on the breakaway. Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie. But the goalie's better. He makes the stop. And it's a quick pass to Kelly. Takes the pass. Puts it just wide of the net. Puck scooped up by Howe. Oh, Stopped indeed. by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Can't catch up to the pass. The Bruins move it in. Grabbed along the boards by Provorov. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Sanderson. Can't keep a hold of it. Gets it over to Lindsay. Quick pass to Datsu. Passes right to the front. Big save. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close. He takes away any room. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Taken by Bork. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Nice poke check. Puck sent over to Setterberg. Look out, a two-on-one. Here's the pass. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. And now he angles it across to Howe. Off a stick. Puck grabbed by Bork. He takes a moment to backtrack, but maintains possession. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Sends the pass over. Gains the zone from the right side. Puck picked up by Howe. From the slot, fires away. Made the stop on the play. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Great reflexes, another save. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. The Oilers are up next here on this extended homestand, Ray. Yeah, I saw their equipment down in the locker rooms around the dressing rooms. They'll put them in after this team gets out of here. The homestand continues. Boston's got the puck at center. Champions got it in the corner. Moves it quickly over to Oates. It's in! He scores! That's his first! You didn't expect much offense from him, but man, this has taken a long time. Must feel great to get on the board. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. Boston's only continue to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed yeah, many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick feed to Cronwall. Moves the puck to Abel. And by number 15. Right in the 
the slot. And that's broken up with a stick in front. He's got a little jump. Champion's got it against the boards. Traps that puck tight into his chest. Moves it on over to Zetterberg. Just wide. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. And now he moves it to Zetterberg. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Here in the later stages of this period, Boston's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. The Bruins win the faceoff. Moves the puck. And makes the routine save. And now it's grabbed by Ogrodnik. And he slides it quickly to Livet. Here's a chance. Just slide to the net. Detroit's had as many chances as their opponents, but they trail because they've shown very little finish. Knocked away. Taken along the wall by Howe. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Manages to hang on. Now he takes it over the line. Shot, and that takes guts to get in front of that one. And now he tries to get it across to Howe. Hammers it on net. Denies him. He got all of it. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Boston's moving it up the ice. And we've got a two-on-one. Nothing doing. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. That's the zero. This is an open net. Two for interference here. He's off to the box. That's one of those instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lumping. The Bruins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. One of the keys to the game is having an excellent special team. This is their first power play tonight. Fantastic save! Sawchuck's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. The Red Wings have it now. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Unloads it just wide. Not really close with that. He got lots on it, but nowhere near the net. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And look at this, a three-on-one. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Nice pass. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Moves it to Park. There's another stop. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie scores! They deliver big time with a man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra nice man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. James, when they look at the film tomorrow, that's not going to look very good. That's a pretty bad error that led to that goal against. Detroit's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Dadzuk's won the draw. Can't find his man. Takes the feed. And he gains the zone here. To point blank! Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Impressive victory despite the fact they didn't need the puck a whole lot. Coaches always lament their team with a one and out, that they don't spend much time with the puck. But when the one and out is in the net, I don't think you worry about it on that night. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabolski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports. Really? She was at a good night, 35 series. Big win from Boston.
The official's made his way to center, and this third period is about to go. The Stars penalty killers get off to a good start, winning possession here. Quick feed, Dyer Frady. Sends the pass over. Great pass from off the right side. And he comes up with it. Belfort's had a solid night here. Save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Stars are up 3-1. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Bauer's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Sittler's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. The Stars win it. Puck grabbed by Stafford. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot, nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Hangs onto the puck. Whoa. Scores! Oh, good shot. I like Thanks. the release, James. He really good zips shot. it past the goalie, hits the pipe. He gets a nice bounce, and it's in the net. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. Toronto's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away, now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. The Stars win it. Puck picked up by Ludwig. He's never scored, but watching him wind through the offensive zone, he looks like he's got plenty of confidence. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Up along the wing. And that pass goes awry. The Stars take it across the blue line. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves it quickly over to Mahovlich. Here they are on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Belfort's gonna slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. And this is a chance we saw just moments ago. The odd man break puts the goaltender on alert. He has to follow the puck, find the pass, and he makes the stop. The Stars take possession off the faceoff. Rocks him. Pokes the puck away. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. That's a slash on that play. The referee's all over it. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's get the call here. And they're going to be shorthanded as slashing is the call on the play. Yeah, this is a penalty of frustration, James. He, things haven't been going his way. He reacts and gets called. Now puts his team shorthanded. Dallas sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. Coaches always talk about the importance of excellent special teams. You don't necessarily have to score, but you can gain some momentum. Scooped up along the wall by Duff. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Here he is in front! Oh, somebody called 911 on that robbery with the glove. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puck dumped in. The Stars gain possession along the wall. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Oh, my God. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And now it's grabbed by Iafrady. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Stars have it against the wall. Taken by Iafrady. Maintains possession. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And that one stole at center ice. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery, he got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. And that's picked off. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. 
Both sides back to even strength. Trying to shake the defender. Moves inside. Here's a shot. That goes oh, wow. by. You can go games without a chance from here. And he regains control of the puck. Turned aside with the glove by Bauer. The Ducks are on the schedule next for these guys. We had a coach, James, that would ask us in a random meeting, who are our next three opponents? You'd be amazed how many guys would get two of the three wrong. What about you? Always do. You always do. Yeah. What, I, smartest guy in the room, right? No, just <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> and they talk about that schedule fucking every game. And he moves it up to Sittler. Can't connect. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Morrow. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, God. That was a nice so play all together. Reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. Solid check to Great slow save down. by Johnny. The Stars will play from the defensive zone. Morrow's picking up steam. Dallas plays it against the boards. The glove making it look easy on the play. But he came out and challenged a good save. The Stars aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. And here's a pass to Clark. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And he denied that opportunity. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Quick feed to Clark. Puts it on net. Big time glove save. Yeah, he does a nice job here finding the puck as it works its way through. He's got to pick it up somewhere amongst all that traffic. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And now he angles it across to Gilmore. Moves the puck. Go, Moved out in front. Pumped away from danger. Go here. Moves it to Hull. Strong defensive effort. Slides it across to Conacher. Yeah. Gilmore's going to play it against the half wall. Toronto's emptied the net. The extra attackers this. now out on the ice. Nice pass. Fires into the empty net. Doesn't go. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. The Maple Leafs take it across the line. There is right. the chance. Oh. And he makes the save. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. What a chance he had. And now it's grabbed by Arnett. Gaining momentum along the boards. Jostling for the puck and he loses seconds. control. Fire again. And that's picked off in Look front. And he coughs it up with the pass. And that one's blocked. Makes the save. The arms up. There's the whistle. And boy, look at the time here. Mm, power play. Coming up. What if we call a timeout? The Stars will serve two for slashing. Even though the standard is tighter for slashing penalties, I think that would have been a penalty ten years ago, too. Exactly. The Maple Leafs win the draw. Wrist shot from the slot. Wow, what a stop by the goalie. Extra attacker on the ice. Big face off here coming up. Carbonos won it off the face off. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Toronto's effort was significantly better, but can you build on that? Yeah, you can, and that's the coach's job and the leaders in the room is to make yourselves believe that that was actually a step in the right direction, even though you lost again. You know who loves a winner? Everybody, listen to this place. You want everybody on the same side, win some games. The players salute the fans who get to cheer a great evening. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski. Thanks for joining us tonight. I don't think they had Mahavlis out there at the end. Could be wrong, but it's in right there. What a great game.
also played good. Alright, last series at the end.